Hey guys, it's Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I want to tackle a common question I get, which is, which one's better for pain, Celebrex or ibuprofen? Okay. Before I hop into that, make sure if you're looking for options outside of drugs and surgery, and most people are, make sure to go into the description. I have a free checklist for you. I give you 11 natural therapies that I use personally that I found very helpful uh, to help you reach that goal. So let's hop right into it. Celebrex and ibuprofen, the biggest difference right off the bat is how they work in your body. They're both anti-inflammatories, but they have slightly different mechanisms of action. And the biggest thing is Celebrex, its claim to fame is that it is only a COX-2 inhibitor. This is an enzyme system in your body, okay? Ibuprofen is a COX-1 and COX-2 inhibitor. The theory is COX-1 enzyme system is prevalent uh, in high concentrations in the stomach and the GI tract. In theory, by blocking those, it increases your risk of GI bleeds and ulcerations. That's ibuprofen's downfall in people's eyes is that it blocks the COX-1 and not just the COX-2. But does that mean Celebrex is better? Not really, and here's why, okay? So both work. There's been numerous studies that have pinned ibuprofen versus Celebrex head to head, and they're pretty much equivalent. I don't see a huge difference in them. Uh, so from that point of view, they're a wash. Now, what about side effects? You would think that Celebrex is gonna blow ibuprofen out of the water, but I wanna point out something. I'm going to look at one of the studies to show you the kind of things that go on in studies sometimes. They found that when they compared Celebrex at 200 milligrams a day versus ibuprofen at 2,400 milligrams a day, that Celebrex only had stomach issues in 1.3% of people versus ibuprofen had 5%, which is what we expected. However, what we're not looking at, what people don't talk about, is the doses they were using. You can look at some resources and they will tell you if we were to ballpark it, that if you took 400 milligrams a day of Celebrex, that's roughly equivalent to maybe 1200 milligrams a day of ibuprofen, um, if we trust those numbers, okay? I think they're fairly close, but let's just use those numbers for now. Well, in the study, they were using 200 milligrams of Celebrex, which in this case would have been more equivalent to say six to 1200 milligrams of ibuprofen, but they were using much more in the study. So the point I'm trying to get at is this dose, depending on who you ask, the 2400 is 75 to 100% of the max dose of ibuprofen, whereas the 200 milligram of Celebrex is only 50% of its max dose. I would have liked to have seen the studies use smaller amounts of ibuprofen. I think the side effects would have gone down and been more in line with what you see with Celebrex, which is more in line with what I see in the real world, the feedback that I get from people. Um, and keep in mind, both these drugs have a black box warning. A black box warning is, like the name implies, it's, it's a huge side effect that we have to be aware of with any drug and both of them have black box warnings that they increase the risk of cardiovascular events so heart and they increase the risk of gi bleeding and ulcerations the same is true for celebrex it it has that black box warning as well as well so here's here's the down low here's the end result which is if you're if you're looking at which one is best or better I don't think either one is. It's going to be up to you. And here's a few factors to keep in mind. First of all, what's your dosing preference? The nice thing about Celebrex is it's only dosed once or twice a day. Ibuprofen, you're gonna to have to take three or four times a day. How about cost? Celebrex is available as a generic now. Most of the time it's not too bad, um, but ibuprofen's available over the counter. Uh, it's dirt cheap. so. If your insurance plan isn't very good and the Celebrex costs too much or they don't cover it, ibuprofen would be a good choice. And quite frankly, you're probably going to have to experiment. Some people come to me and they love Celebrex. It works great for them. Other people are like, it, it didn't do the trick. I just take ibuprofen over the counter. It does a great job. Um, 
So to answer the question, the whole reason I did this video, which one is better? The answer is neither. Um, they both work well. They both are about as effective as the other. And I think as long as you're not get carried away with the dosing and using super high doses of ibuprofen, I don't, I don't find it really messes with people's stomachs. If it does, Celebrex is a good option. I like it. It's just that I don't think it lives up to its reputation as being safer than other drugs, at least in my experience, and the studies kind of bear that out. But uh, both of them will work. What I'd really like, let me know in the comments, have you used one or the other? Did you have good results, not so good results? Uh, you know, am I talking crazy talk in this video and you disagree with me? Let me know. It's helpful for me to hear your feedback on what your experience was. And other people that watch the video, it's helpful for them too to hear about your experience. Um, speaking of helpful, I hope this video was, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.